Doja Cat. Hi. What's been the most persistent thought on your mind lately? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. Just like being able to do things I like to do and like instilling boundaries. Boundaries mm-hmm. have been on my mind. Interesting. More than freedom. What boundaries have you been setting lately? Um, like professional boundaries and, and kind of just really just boundaries in general, like a, like relationship boundaries. Like mm-hmm. if I'm talking to like a guy and they're like, let's go get drinks. I'll like be like, I don't trust you. I don't even know who you are. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know you. And some guy told me that he wanted to move into a cabin in the woods like he like he is like an invite. He was yes. inviting you to move that into a cabin. Was, in the that, well, that was his opener. <laughs> he, um, what in what context did somebody just come up to you and invite you to be in a cabin? It in was the woods? a dating app. You're on dating apps. I'm on. I'm on a dating app. Can I can I ask you what dating app you're on? I think so. Yeah, I think. I, well, I'm on Raya. You're on Raya. Yeah, I think I'm allowed to say. Yes, I can say that. Yes, I am on Raya. I keep getting rejected from Raya. Really? Would you give me a referral? I don't, dude. Honestly, you're not missing out on anything. Really? Yeah. Everybody looks the same. Do Everyone you, has the same haircut. How, what haircut is it? Caesar. What's what other kind of like opening line? What's the worst Raya opening line you've gotten? Oh boy, it was long, and that's why it was bad. <laughs> people are. Pro- I mean, I have to imagine when people match with you on Raya. And they're composing a message. They're doing it like it's the most important thing they've ever no, written down. No, that's exactly ever. how it how it comes off. Yeah, and and that's the thing is, I'm sure it comes off like that every time. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. Some people like will write like a paragraph, and it it's like almost like a stand up like bit. It's like they have like a beginning, middle, and end to yeah, it. Yeah, no, a they thought about it. Yeah, yeah, and it's like relax. Like I do the opposite of that. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's more more chill, more trustworthy to just mm-hmm. kind of not really say anything meaningful at all. So, like, I, I just, I'll be, like, hot. Do you, do you ever just get a hey? I don't like that. I don't like hey. It makes me sad. It's like someone sitting on their phone. Like, I imagine them mm-hmm. on their phone and they're like, <sighs> <laughs> hey. You know what I mean? So it needs to be somewhere between... Hey, and here's uh, no. is something I had ChatGPT write for me. Yeah, it has to be creative. I okay. really value creativity. Mm-hmm. So, like, like I say, like to some guys, I'll be like, clap it, and then they'll be like, sure. <laughs> and it's like, like it's like, no, I wanted you something. Yeah, more just like something st- stupid, and mm. it doesn't. I can tell when somebody is saying something stupid. Because they're trying to be funny or if they're actually funny and they just say stupid things. Hmm. Like some people like are try to be funny Mm -hmm. when they approach me. And Mm -hmm. then there's some people who are just like literally just naturally pretty funny and are chill and cool. This is one of the um, tough things to realize is that like your intentions and what you're thinking subconsciously always comes through whether you try really hard yeah because if someone's tr- composing a message where they're trying not to seem cool them trying not to seem cool comes off yeah yeah i i see patterns as well on raya what patterns so and you have a description and your description will like whatever you can put whatever you want and i notice every like 10 guys there's one guy who's like can't wait to match and not talk and never meet can't wait to never meet do we have to put a bag on that no you're fine really free no free advertising for miller highlights oh, fuck it sick Let's all you go. go crazy um and yeah 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 there will be like every 10 guys some guys like really bitter and it's like you you don't know that we can tell that you're bitter right like no, right like relax it's a dating app it's not gonna be fun 
It's like gonna be fucking sad. It's gonna did you suck. did you use dating apps before you were famous? No, I didn't. But I tried to go on Tinder, and there was a guy who had a picture of him in front of like three exotic cars or whatever, and he just looked like a criminal. Like he just looked, and he had, had his glasses on at night, and that usually says a lot about people. Mm. And so I I never went back on again because of that one guy. Are you? For Raya, are you ju- are you looking at men and women or just just men? Just men. What's the like? Let's say that somebody, let's say you had a friend who just got on Raya, and they asked you for advice on how to build a good profile. What would you tell them? Um, put pictures of not just yourself looking hot. You should put pictures of things that represent your sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Some people don't. I I guess don't have a sense of humor sometimes, mm-hmm. and that's fine. That's life, but. If you if you're like funny and cool, like like let people know that. Let that be known. What uh, wh- like what are you what are you looking for on Raya? Are you are you like I'm just looking are you looking for, like, for hot, love? Funny babe. Mm-hmm. Like a hot, funny, hairy babe with a cool with a cool vibe, and who who is like not. I don't know who like has an opinion. Like mm-hmm. I like people with opinions. Mm-hmm. Like some people just like like I don't know, everything or and that's that's fine too. I don't know, honestly. I don't know what the fuck I want. I just want to be safe. I think that's that's You yeah, just want to be safe. I just want to be safe. Hmm. Men are terrifying. I'm really small. I'm 5'3". They could I could Anything could happen. That's crazy that somebody asked you to go with them to the cabin in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. That was his opener. But, like, God bless him. Like, if you had gotten to know... Okay. If you had gotten to know him, and maybe you'd met him in public a few times, like, what... How long would it take for you to be like, you know what? I'll go go to the cabin in the woods. It would have never worked with me and him. He's, like, too docile and sweet. Hmm. I think I need, like, a little... A little, a little edge. Yeah, a little bit of edge. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And has your has what you has what you're looking for in terms of like the personalities of the people that you're attracted to evolved as you've gotten older? As it stayed pretty much the same throughout your life? They've evolved. A- absolutely, they've evolved. Like I, I've had a lot of really shit boyfriends. Sorry, guys. Um, and then I've had, uh, you know. Some some really 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 great ones, uh, mm. who have kind of, and they've all taught me to uh, look for the right things, and you know, in some way or another. I think I've just learned from from all of my relationships to some extent about what not to look for, or what to avoid, or what to seek. Mm. Um, what, did you did you date a lot like? In high school and stuff? Uh, yeah. No. Actually, no. No, I didn't date. I I did the other thing. Okay, where? If you know what I mean. Were you, um, were you popular in high school? Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't, not really. Like, I, I really like the, the dance sector of my school because I went to a performing arts so I kind of stayed with all the like within the circle of whoever was a dancer were you were you like sort of a theater kid? um I yeah I, like generally speaking yeah like I really liked theater but I think for the most part I wanted to dance and um yeah the more theatery kids I never really got to know them that much mm. um but then I joined some some dance crews in LA. Yeah. And I uh I battled around. You used, around to, used to do dance battles? <laughs> yeah, dude, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's so bad. I'll move on. I'll move on. <laughs> Have you ever done um would you ever rap battle somebody? Um, I used to want to do that and nobody that like nobody I knew was into it. So it just never happened for me. So I just kept dancing. Hmm. Would you uh, is that would you ever challenge somebody to a 
to a rap or like show up at one of the because I, I think Absolutely. every every city has like a scene of like underground I rap would battle love shit. that. And I, I feel like if you rolled up Yeah you could destroy people. Yes. Well yeah. I would love to do that. But yeah, I just don't know people that'd be down for that. You know? I know who would. I just don't like surround myself with with people very much. I'm a lone wolf. Have you have you always been like that? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, sort of. Mm-hmm. Not really. It's like comes and goes. Mm-hmm. Like right now I'm very social. Mm-hmm. Like I'm putting myself out there. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah. I don't know. It, it it comes and goes. I remember I'd like stay locked in my room every day and like make music and stuff on Periscope. Remember Periscope? Periscope was the precursor to tick Talk, or to, it was like the Twitter like, streaming thing? Yeah, it was Twitter streaming. Yeah. Yeah, and I would go on there every single day, and I would not get out of the house. Mm. I would just, like, stay and make music and chill all day. I've, I've also been having, like, an interesting relationship with, like, isolation. Because you, you'll, you like, go... I've, like, gone three years and then kind of, like, been like, oh, I've been isolating myself mm-hmm. this entire time. Mm-hmm. Has that happened to you? Yeah, for sure. And I, like, need a change of scenery and need people and noises and things like that what do you like i asked this for genuine advice what do you do when you feel like you're too isolated how do you get yourself out of that how do you how do you rejoin the community <laughs> uh oh man <sighs> Just go on Discord. I <laughs> <laughs> just jump on Discord. We just hang out on Discord all day. Honestly, that's like that's I have a kind of a big friend group on Discord, and those are sort of my. Fr- I just don't like see them because everybody's spread out throughout mm-hmm. the United States. But it's just like just me and my friends on Disc, and that's kind of it. One of the number one things that people call in here to talk about is how do you make friends as an adult right that's a great question yeah and it's really and um i i i struggle with i used to do uh stand up and that made it really easy because everywhere because you know um you go out to bars and there's just always people around but since i stopped doing that it got so much harder and um i always like I guess I try to tell people like find an interest that you have and join a uh, a club that's like based on your hobby or something. You ever? Yeah, you ever it's like you any... have to physically apply yourself. Yeah. To to a community or something. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to even begin to fathom that when you've kind of gotten comfortable in such a you know like a cozy your cozy little egg Mm -hmm. um i don't know i like i think uh also some people just don't don't have a hobby or don't want to do anything and like i get that man i don't know i think that i think that being creative like this this my best advice would be is to be creative to some extent and Mm -hmm. somebody will share that thing with you that same liking and maybe maybe you can make something of it with with somebody else it doesn't have to be like i don't mean so much like it being successful but just you know know, fucking getting out there and just like doing something making something materializing something that happens in your mind you know make Make beautiful things. I don't know. Do you feel like you've been able to attract a lot of other people into your life, friends and whatnot, by making beautiful things? And I don't... Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. I was going to say no. Please. Yes. Please. So, I, in in a funny way. So, like... <laughs> how much can I say? I, uh... So, my creative director is one of my closer friends Mm -hmm. to me. Um, And then he had 
an assistant to him who's just like the funniest, like coolest girl. Girl. And like so chill, such a vibe, inspires me. But she, she was just his assistant. She wasn't like being creative along with me. Mm. But then I started asking her like, hey, like where do I source this kind of, cause she has really great style. But I was like, you know, asking her stuff about fashion and like we kind of vibed on that same thing. And, um, and we just became best friends, like closer mm. than, kind of closer than, sorry, Brett, <laughs> kind of closer than me and my creative director, to be honest with you. Mm. Um, but it's everyone's worst fear is that they introduce their friend to somebody and then they become closer with them. <laughs> yeah. Than, than, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, yeah, me, uh, you know, we all, we all work really, really great together and we still go out like all of us, uh, and she's just like the funniest thing. And I even started kind of making music with her. She's not musical at all whatsoever, but she has a really good scream. She has like a beautiful, like, like gut wrenching, like blood curdling scream. And I'm like, dude, can you please do that on a song for me? Mm. And so she's been, she's been doing that. I had her do that on a song. It was great. Is it really what cool. is it a song that you put out or that it's you're It's not out yet. And I uh well Yeah, it's not out yet. I might start a punk band with her. Really? Possibly. I heard, so I listened to um this interview you did on uh, Apple Music and you were talking about like all this different kinds of like you want to get into new genres and stuff. Yeah, you yeah. want to get into punk? Yeah. Do you like do you like to like mosh? Um I like don't mosh, but I like the culture and I like the feeling. I I like the emotion that surrounds it and the, you know, what it incites in me. Do you have favorite punk bands? Yeah, I do. I really like the chats right now. Okay. Just currently. Um, I'm getting into Sonic Youth. My favorites, though, probably Idols. Um... Who else? Man. I mean, yeah. Idols is like, I think, my number one. Um, I don't know a lot of the bands, but I like the genre. Like, do you know the Misfits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Misfits. Classic, yeah. Love uh, like the Ramones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to go to more like local shows and yeah. just like fuck around and get punched in the face and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like, I don't like pain like that. No. But I understand that. But like I, I love to like I'd love to just surround myself in that. Mm. You know? Do you do you ever make music that you're just like I'm literally I'm not even gonna put this out I'm just gonna do it just to absolutely do it? just to like hear what it would sound like yeah. if I did this thing yeah uh, I definitely do that I do like experimental moments where mm -hmm. I made a I made a punk song on my own with like splice and like different programs and stuff that I, I just downloaded. I am learning how to like actually produce mm -hmm. and not just use uh, <laughs> like uh, default noises, mm -hmm. which I've been doing for like since the beginning. Um, and they don't ever come to anything. They never come to fruition, uh, rightfully so. But uh, yeah, I like actually made like a quite okay thing the other night and uh, it was cute. Did you really seem? You really seem like you're always. I don't know if this is true, but you really seem like you're always having fun. Yeah. And I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I am. I am. I am. I really like to have fun. I think it's important to have fun. I think it's important to chill. Have, do you ever? Um. Have you, have you ever like? Do you ever notice that you're not having fun and you stop? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know what, actually, the other day, I found myself, I, so, like, most of my life, things have been, like, messy in my room or my house, and I've always had something to do, something to organize, something to, like, get done. Mm -hmm. The other day, I was in my room, my room was perfectly clean, I'm, like, great at keeping my house in order, and I found myself sitting on my, like, little day bed mm -hmm. in my room, and just, like, doing nothing. Like, mm -hmm. I was, like... I was just doing this.
And so when I did that, and I realized I was doing it, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and I like kind of understand why people meditate. I was going to say, it sounds like you accidentally meditated. I think I by accident meditated. Yeah. Yeah. How did it f feel? Were you like, this is gross, I don't like this? Um. Yeah, I like wanted a vice. I wanted yeah. to like go pour a fucking glass of yeah. wine or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. smoke yeah. something. Yeah. Zero nicotine. Um, no, it's very hard to sit and do nothing. And it doesn't even feel that productive. Because, yeah. like, people make it out to be, like, a big, like, a big, like, productive thing to, like, meditate for an hour every day. Yeah. But I don't, I don't get it. Like, you could meditate for an hour every day for a year. Yeah. And you'd accomplish nothing. Honestly, like, I could see myself meditating. Why, why is the mic so far? I see myself meditating and then... Being like, I have to meditate now. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Like it becomes a, like like a. Uh, I a, have it, to it now. Habit. Yeah. In order to it feel sane. Yeah. And feel good. Yeah. I've got to meditate. God forbid, like I have stuff to do. Like I can't. But couldn't okay, but the vices couldn't meditate and couldn't meditation theoretically. I guess this is the defense of it, couldn't it theoretically replace some of the other things that you, like, have to do that I guess are, like, bad? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's, like, uh, maybe I want to drink, like, during a thing that's happening where I can't sit down. I bet meditating while drunk y yeah. could be... I probably I feel would, I, think I feel like it, I already do that now. I think that would make it easier. Yeah, maybe. Like sometimes, like when I drink, I I don't feel like I know it's supposed to make you feel like social. Yeah. But I like you know when you're drunk and you go to the bathroom. Oh and, my god! And yeah. It's quiet and you just are alone with your thoughts and you're like <laughs> in the toilet. Yeah, and it like that's feels my favorite good. part. Yeah. Yeah, and your face, you like feel your like face. And yeah. It like feels good and everything's yeah. warm. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I've gotten um. There's been a couple. T do you, are you a weed person? Do you no, smoke I pot? can't. Like, um, well, like when I smoke pot, I like get really in my head and think and stuff. And I've noticed that happens to me when I drink too. Like anything that deviates me from like normal sober mind, like causes me to reflect mm -hmm. on the normal sober mind. Do you have anything mm -hmm. that does does that to you? Puts you in a state of reflection. You know what? Kind of, yeah. I think any stimulants, like, like I, last night, well, not last night, a couple nights ago, I, like, don't do this, kids. I smoked a cigarette, and, like, it was great. I really liked it, but then the next day, I had anxiety all day. And then I also had another day, like a week before that, I had a cigarette, and and it made me feel terrible the next day. Like, it was... I've never... I don't remember ever getting anxiety from smoking cigarettes. Or feeling wildly introspective or not even like that. Just, like, more just kind of shitty. And just, you know... Yeah. I, uh... I think cigs do that to me. Any sort of nicotine. Any stimulant. Any coffee. Caffeine. Tea. Things like that. You into, you into Celsius at all? No, no, like I, I just can't drink it. Like I can't. So I have a really crazy Celsius story. Please. I like got, I like almost got into a beef because of Celsius. What I blame the Celsius. It's not me. Like I, I, so I was singing a song and like doing the voice of somebody else with the song. Like I filmed myself doing the song in the crazy voice. And it was like my really bad impression of that person. And and people took it super wrong. They like thought that I was like trying to like start cause drama and like issues when really I was just being a fucking asshole. <laughs> I was just being people. dumb. I feel like people are always doing that. Looking for something. Looking for something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I don't know if that's the fault of the Celsius. Maybe that's the fault of, of the people. Yeah. Sure, but I also was just so... I, I feel like with Celsius, you're high. 
Have you ever um? If you I was were, so hot. Have you ever taken Adderall before? I have. It does. Me- I was prescribed it medically. Mm-hmm. And I took it, and I was like, I'm high right now. I'm on drugs. I'm on meth. But it it makes me feel like optimistic. Yeah, I think my experience was I was very robotic and responsible. Mm-hmm. But maybe it wasn't Adderall. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was something else. Like um. I've been I've been I've been prescribed like SSRIs every now and then and they I always give up because you're supposed to take them for like three weeks until okay. you feel something and I was like fuck this and then it got Adderall and I was like oh this is what I thought the SSRIs yeah. would be it's just I'm in- instant optimism and uh, yeah. appreciation for life and shit yeah yeah um, yeah but you, it's un- it felt I mean I know there's people who take it every day and that's but I, it just felt unsustainable. To me. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be, be fucked up all day. Yeah. Why this. do I have to depend on this thing? Yeah. When I could, like, I know I could find it in myself. I think that's a big part of, like, just in general, just like you gotta, you gotta find it in yourself. I mean, I under like. And if you really need it, people, people, people will uh, go against the argument by saying stuff like, "Well, if your leg is broken, you would take a." Uh, uh, a pain killer. So why not do the same thing if your brain is broken? And so I, I respect. Maybe I should give it. Maybe I should give it a try. Yeah, yeah. But you know, hey, hey, man, it's a wild industry. Hey, do you want to take a phone call? Yeah, I do. Let's see what's going on. Hey, folks. This is Lyle. I am very excited to announce that I am going back on tour in 2024 to do Therapy Gecko Live all across the country. If you've never been to one of my live shows before, they are extremely fun, unpredictable, wild evenings that involve a mix of group gecko therapy sessions as well as some material and presentations from myself. And if you've been to the show before, I have new presentations and will, of course, be interviewing new people. If you're a fan of the podcast, you're going to have a great time at the live show, so I hope to see you guys there. Go to TherapyGeckoTour.com or check the link in the episode description for a full list of cities where tickets are available. Also, if you don't see your city on the list of cities, please still click the link and RSVP with your phone number so I can contact you when tickets go on sale for your city because I'm going to announce a bunch more dates very soon. Geck bless. Let's talk to Carlos. Hello. Hi. What's up? What's up? Hello. Is this Hi. is this Carlos Twenty from California? Yes, this is. Hi, Carlos. Hello. Carlos, it says here that your ex recently came back into your life. You said it yes. was your fault. That you guys broke up. And now that yes. she's back, you're wondering if you can maintain a friendship. Do you want to talk about, about this in your own words? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was kind of like uh, I, had a, I had a lot of mental health issues going on uh, to the point of, like, hospitalization and, like, other shit. And then on top of that, like, I just wasn't being, like, the best boyfriend. Um and I unblocked this girl who, like, I guess I had been, uh, not even I guess, but I had been, like, emotionally cheating with this other girl. Um, so my my girlfriend at the time finds out that, like, we had been talking again, but, like, just as friends. And regardless of that, like, it was, it's the fact that I unblocked this person who she told me to block, right? Um, whatever. So that happens. We end... And then recently, like, I I was just on Tinder, and she's, like, she's still near my hometown. Um, So, like, I swiped right. She swipes right as well. And then, um, I don't know, we're just, like, talking as friends again. And it's, like, it's cool. It feels, like, comfortable. But at the same time, like, I just feel bad because of what happened. And I don't know if I can, like, you know, offer her a friendship with having that guilt, you know? And I I don't think that's her fault. But I like I just I'm not sure it's healthy, you know. You feel like you want to break it off completely, kind of. Yeah, yeah, and like people have been telling me to do it, but like at the same time, like I I think she's like a I think she's a really great person, and you know I I the prospect of having her in my life 
hypothetically sounds cool. I just don't know if it would work out, you know? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on this? I have like a, not a similar situation, but like somewhat. I'm trying to, trying to, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I think, um, I think follow your, follow your gut instinct. And if you're doing something for the sake of like moving on and, and finding things that benefit you to your, to your soul and like follow your, you know, your, like your core values and stuff like that, just, just follow those and, and it's about, you know, feeling good and not trapped in a situation that. You know what I mean? You don't want to be. You don't want to be trapped. No, yeah. You, know, you don't want to yeah, feel trapped. I get that. Um, and then also just being honest. I think being honest is really, really important, especially to her. And the way that you um, part is is really important. I think, like, so, like, like expressing it. Express all those like, things, even ex- the things that you think you wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. You, you know, you know. Sometimes it's like you oh, want to dress. Hold on. Oh yeah. Sorry. Wait. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. Carlos. <laughs> okay. Wait. We're gonna get back in. We're gonna get back. Oh wait. Crap. I hope Carlos is not going. Wait. We might have lost Carlos forever. I think we left on like a pretty nice note, though. Yeah. You know what? Oh, you know what it is? I um Oh crap. Okay. Wait, sorry. This is so annoying. I have to add <laughs> funds to this fucking <laughs> call in studio Go thing. For it. This is a terrible time put for a quarter this to in happen, the machine, man. But we have to put quarters in the machine. Okay. Let's hope this all right, I have to log into my PayPal account. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay. Should I sing while you do that? That would be awesome if you could do that. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit different when I'm like not on stage. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, that was. Let's, let's let's add even more funds just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we are back. All right, wait, we might have gotten... Wait, where's Carlos? Carlos? Can you hear me? He wouldn't be. Okay, let's take... a call... From Joe. Hello? 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 Hi. 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 How are you, baby? <laughs> I'm alright. Um, how are you guys? We're just chilling. We're just very, very, very much chilling at the moment. Um, yeah, thank you for the singing. Oh yeah, no problem. How are you? What's going on with you today? Um, not much. Just, I've been helping my mom clean, cleaning my room, taking care of the dogs, you know, normal things. Nice. Joe, uh, is there, what did you want to talk about today? It's fine if there's nothing in particular. We could just vibe. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, there's something I wanted to talk about. Also, your assistant is really nice. She sounded really pretty. Oh, is that, <laughs> is that, that um, that. um, um uh uh brie yeah brie rocks yeah she was she was really sweet um so i did want to talk about something so um my boyfriend i was like we're about to go on one year um next month and um i'm so sorry if i sound really shaky i just <laughs> my heart okay, dropped take when your i time. just heard hello <laughs> That's all good. um so um, yeah, my boyfriend is about to be one year. Um, he lives like 15 like minutes away by car. Um, and, um, for the longest time I've been doing like a lot of 
long distance. Like, you know, I've been trying to make it work with other people. Like, it's funny because I call, I would try calling you, I think, two years ago um, mm-hmm. regarding that ex. Um, just never got in. I think I actually was on waiting one time, but then I, I guess it dropped. But, um, yeah, um, like, that was also long distance. Um, it was, like, I think two hours away, and I would always go see him and, like, stay there for, like, a week and then come home. Um, and, um, like, now that I have somebody here, you know, I mean, he's always here. He's always here. Like, comes after a class and, like, stays for, like, maybe, like, three, four hours. Um, but, like... I don't know. I've asked my friends questions, like how they feel about him. And like, um, I don't know. I don't think I ever tell them mostly like the bad things, you know, I don't know if they're just biased because of my last ex or what, but like, I never talked to him about it a lot. You know, it's just you, something that was like on my mind, you know, are you, are you, are you enjoying this relationship? Is it making you feel happy and fulfilled? I love it. I haven't been this happy in a very long time. I'm Good. being completely honest. I mean, Good. um, because like the last one, oh, did you, were you trying to say something? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. Go ahead. it was approving. Oh. oh, um, so I mean, like the last one was awful. Um, let me give you a little context. I was, I went homeless for him. I went homeless for him. That's how much I loved him. He had nowhere to go. He was on drugs. Um, he, j- His mom threw him out because of all of it. Um, she didn't want that around her kids and everything. So, like, I totally understand. I let him come here. Um, he started stealing. My mom has diabetes, so he would take her needles. And um, he would go through the bins in the back. And, like, he had, like, a lot of old expired debit cards one time. And he, like... He stole one of my old iPods, so it, it was just awful. So, like, now I'm with this guy. He actually took me to go get my stuff that was in the storage, like, bin, like, out there. So, I'm, like, I'm pretty happy with this guy. He's, like... Seems to care. Really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> he, he really cares. Um, And, but, like, I mean, I know I can do things that might upset him. Like, I never keep my fucking room clean like ever <laughs> i have five dogs it's, it's a little hard to keep my little room clean um yeah. but um i just like i would like to play with him sometimes you know like play video games like i like but it's always like oh i can't because i'm with the boys and i've played with his brother's friends um i my personality is very let's say out there so Joe, jo, i just loud. i just if i if i could narrow for just one second i guess i want to ask you like um if you could pin it to anything what would you say would be like um if there is anything and and i guess i'm sensing that because you called there might be what would you say if if anything at all is like the main point of contention between you and this guy that maybe you wanted uh some perspective on if you had to narrow it like, down to just one, one thing. Why can't I play with you? And why can't you come over? Like, when it's, like, um, an emotional thing. Like, he's, like, emotionally unavailable sometimes. Like, like you feel like he's not giving you as enough uh, uh, attention that, that, that you that you want out of the relationship? Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Genuinely. Like, if I felt, like, in distress that night, I just feel like he wouldn't be here. Mm. You know? And then he, if I yeah. want to spend time with him and his friends, like, it'll just never happen. There's a lot of distance between you guys. Do you, um, do you tell him that? Are you honest about that? I have. And um, with the friend thing, I've told him, like, I just, like, it's just, it's just like your friends. Like, what's the worst thing that's going to happen, like? You think yeah. they're going to say something bad towards me because um, they aren't, let's say, PC, his friends. Um, they never have. They aren't very accepting of, like, people like me. So, like, I think that's maybe what he's scared about. But then sometimes he says it's something else. Like, I'm not sure what it is. But I just kind of want to be able to play with him. 
know, um, and it's I mean, like I, I, I would. Hide. I feel like he's hiding something. I guess. I guess. I, I guess. Joe, Joe. I would. I would. I would say this. Are you? I mean, to to Joe to Doja's point, were you being honest with him? And are you getting uh, what you want out of, uh, you know, is this, there, this expression? Is of there honesty? any progress being made when you guys speak about your your issues? Mm-hmm. Does is he willing to change things about his situation in order to um, make you happy or better the relationship or benefit it in any way? He has made a lot of progress. Yeah, he was never out, and he's somewhat out now. I, I think that's complete progress coming from like a very conservative family, very very conservative. So he's willing to um, he's willing to make leaps for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. That's good. I think that that's all that kind of matters, right? When somebody is willing to work, I think that a relationship is a it's a two way street, and it's a lot about you know working on, um, you know, on a uh, being together and uh most of the time it's not work because you love being together um but yeah there should be a mutual respect of each other's feelings and as long as he's meeting the needs that you have then i think you know it's worth continuing definitely definitely joe is there um is there anything else that you want to say to the people of the computer or uh, anything at all that you want to mention about this before we go? Um, something off topic. My friend wanted to wanted me to say something to Doja Cat. She said, ask her to remaster Suckered Punch. I don't know what that means, but that's it. <laughs> Mastered Sucker Punch? They, they want me to remaster, remaster a song that I'm never going to put out. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I just want to do that for my best friend. But um, okay, tell her I so said much. take it easy. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Um, I love you guys, and I love like your work, and you guys really make me laugh a lot. And thank I really you, Hell yeah. that. Have a good night, dude. And thank you for that. You too. What was the song called again? Sucker Punch. Is that an old one? Yeah, very old. Maybe like four, f- mm-hmm. five years. Maybe even six years old. Do you look at the past a lot? Or do you like to stay present? I... Just in general, not even musically. Just sometimes life. I revisit the past. Uh, Yeah. I I leave a lot of things behind, though. I, mm. I know how to forget about things. Mm. I know how to just close things out. I'm very good at that. Mm-hmm. You know? But, um... I don't know. You know. What are you, and not even music, just in general, what are you the most excited about for the future? What am I most excited about for the future? Uh, uh, expanding my brain musically and trying things that I'm not used to. And, uh, going to jazz clubs. I've been trying to go to a. I just moved to New York, and they. I know they have like all these jazz clubs. Yeah, I'm yeah. To go to one at some point. Yeah. Yeah. God, New York has really good bar culture and mm-hmm. jazz culture, mm-hmm. and just art culture. I think in in general. Do you? I'm cu- like. Do you? Is it hard for you to like go out and like bar hop and do all these things just because like of of who you are? Um. Uh, yeah, sometimes it is. Sometimes I'm, I'm very, very paranoid. I am generally just very, very, very paranoid about stuff because of what I do. And But, I, you know, I make it work. Mm-hmm. I think also just even if I wasn't famous, it would still suck sometimes. Really? What do you... Yeah. What, like, how... What do you... Well, there w- d- there's, like, there's, like, creepy, like, men. Mm-hmm. And, like, I... I my like ass hangs out when I go to the club or I go mm-hmm. to the bar. Like I'm always wearing something very sexy. Mm-hmm. Like I dress crazy. Um, but you know, there's like stuff that people people react in certain ways, and like you know, guys are just like drunk. Like drunk people are awful. Mm-hmm. 
you know. Mm-hmm. I just like I I yeah. P- people react to the way that I you know, men react to the way that I dress. That's fine. It's like it's gonna happen. But like <laughs> just dude, drunk drunk men and drunk women. I think honestly, drunk everybody really is not a vibe most of the time. Even when you yourself are drunk, like drunk strangers, yeah, like yeah. I'm fine. Um, but it's like strangers who are like trying to talk about their uh, astrology signs and stuff. Their <laughs> zodiac. That to yes, you? literally, that just <laughs> what, happened to me. Can I, can I hear? Can I hear what this conversation? Some was? woman came up to our table and was like, "You all for like okay." To be fair, yeah. this was like very nice what she was saying and positive, okay, cool. but like don't do this. Yeah, she like came up to the table and was like, "I just want to let you guys know that you are all so loved, and you're all so special, and someone out there loves you, mm-hmm. and you're incredible." Mm-hmm. I'm a cancer, mm-hmm. so I just like I I get like this, and I just can't help myself. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm sitting there looking at her like. Like I don't exist. I'm I'm watching her like she's like a screen, like a thing on a screen. I can't yeah. believe that. Like some people just get to that point, and it's it's you know whatever. She sounded like she was on Molly. Yeah, could have been could have been some mall. Uh, like I do, I um something like that would be hard for me because like I typically like if any stranger talks to me like. I have a lot of respect for people who are willing to approach strangers and talk to them. And so, like, if someone ever does that to me, I want to, like, reward it by by being like, oh, yes, of course. And yeah, but um, but that does that does sound extremely intense. I think I'm quite closed off. So mm-hmm. I think when that stuff happens, mm-hmm. it's just like. Stop it. Mm hmm. You know, are you into astrology at all or I'm really like I'm. I get it. Like I know, I understand the signs. Mm-hmm. I understand because my mom's really, really into it. Mm-hmm. So I just can deep dive into like different signs and stuff. But I don't, I don't like it. I have okay. Here's my take on astrology. I'm curious what you think about this. I don't. I think there's like, I don't like the idea that somebody's like, oh, I am this sign, and so they go to a website and they read like, because you're this sign, you are like this. Like because you're a Gemini you uh get emotional easy or yeah. something and then they take that and then it just becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah they have you know to live I mean? by it they have to live by yeah, it and like so it just their causes existence. all this like unnecessary negative personality yeah trace. some people you can you can abuse astrology mm-hmm. you can you can abuse like pseudoscience absolutely um just like anything that is kind of a vice uh, you know, it, it's, yeah, man, I, um, I, I like talking about it and I actually have a friend who's really good at readings, like doing readings. Really? He's like, fantastic. You like give him your, your, uh, date of birth and then like your time, your time of birth and like all this like specific information about you, like where you were born and blah, blah, blah. And he'll like, he'll just, un just, Yeah. Can I ask what, what, your he, whole life. what he read about you? Um, he said that right now my life is all about kind of pleasure and just kind of just going for it okay. and just like doing the thing. Yeah. Even if it's like kind of dumb, enjoy it and like lean into it. Um, don't be ashamed. Uh, there's like a massive like Saturn return situation happening for me. And that like that's supposed to... It, it there's a time in my life that's happening right now for, for there's a couple signs that are going through it right now but it's it's almost like the planets are asking you do you really want this is this what this is what you asked for here it is do you actually want this is this mm. really the life that you want to lead for forever mm. And it's so, it's like, it's crazy when he said that because I've been going through like all this crazy fucking <laughs> just like oh my god dude like i don't know it's just yeah it's been a wild year publicly you know so i I think uh it's a little poetic and cool and interesting and you know sometimes i ask him for a reading because of that i'm i'm curious and you might not have an answer or have an answer that you want to share but 
when faced with uh, the planets are giving you this, is this what you really, really want? Like when he said all that to you, did you have an answer? Like if, if somebody asked me, is this what you really want? What's my answer to that? Yeah. No, probably not. Really? This is probably not what I want. Really? I, I, I It's what I wanted. Really? It's what I used to want. Mm -hmm. It's what I think I needed mm -hmm. to be in a safe place. Mm -hmm. I needed to get the fuck out of whatever situation I was in. Mm -hmm. And now that I have this freedom, I have a... I have this like physical freedom and mm -hmm. physical autonomy mm -hmm. and now I'm more in like the like the mental autonomy of it all like like taking back my power and like, mm. kind of doing what I want to do creatively mm -hmm. regardless of like this very uh, marketable um, thing that I've created. I'm kind yeah. of tearing it all down. But, I, but like, I mean, that's the thing is if if you were to be uh, beholden to it, you you know, it doesn't matter if it was like the most marketable, successful thing ever. You'd just be fucking miserable. Yeah, exactly. I'd be doing the same thing every single day. Yeah. And and, and I cannot do that. I just I, can't. And like and like I said, I think the cool I think the coolest thing about you is that you always seem like you're having fun. Yeah. Fuck it, rock and roll. That's honestly, that's what I, fuck it, rock and roll. Fuck it, rock and roll. Fuck it, rock and roll. Hmm. So I, I've, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun creatively. I've been painting a lot more. I'm like, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I see you're painting a, I see you on uh, Instagram all the time painting a wall. I know, I painted and people said I look like an old grandma with fat ankles. You want to take another call? Yeah. Let's see who we got. Grandma with fat ankles. Hello. I just heard myself say fat ankles. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hanging in there. What's uh what's going on, Lauren? How's life? Uh not it's pretty good. How's y'all's life going? Skip. Look, man, we're trying to talk about oh. things. We're trying to solve problems. Eddie? What's oh. up? Oh! Eddie! Oh, 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 hi. Hi. Eddie, it says hi, here that you have an intense fear of death. Oh, no. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's really... Oh, God. It's intense to... Um, to a certain degree, for example, um, I, you know, fear of death is in everyone. I don't know if y'all feel the same way I do, but like, for me, it's just been like every little thing I do is just, oh, this is so cool in the moment. But then I, I for some reason, I just flash to, oh, what if I can't do this anymore? And like, so and so amount of time. And it, but I don't know if I if I'm making any sense. It sounds dumb, but like I, no. I feel like I'm, I'm never dumb. Hold on. <laughs> That's not dumb. That's not dumb. That's natural. It's just I like think, yeah. I, Go ahead. What's your what's no? Your take? I think I think it's fine. Don't I, I continue? But I'm I'm just validating. All right. Thank, I appreciate it. But like I don't know. I shit. But like I'm trying to formulate words. So I. It, a good example is like I sit in bed, let's say three in the morning, it, four in the morning rolls around. And first thought that comes to mind is me dying. And then like, oh, shit, like it settles in. It's going to happen someday. Of course, I'm far away from it right now. By the way, I'm like barely about to turn 19. Like it, I'm far away from that time coming. But still, it's like a, a very like a very valid thing that like. I, I just can't stop thinking about of, it. I can't stop thinking it, about it. Always comes of, into rotation. Of, is it of old age? Is it of natural causes? Or is, is it of an immediate thing that's like happening in the room? Or is it a... You just think of... Do you think of like something falling on you, for example? Or like, is it... Where where does <laughs> a, the fear stem from? So it just comes... So I... There is a... Um, the, one of the fears, I, this fear comes from my grandma basically getting dementia and, like, dying really, really young. Like, mm -hmm. I, I say really, really because, like, she died in her 50s, 
and like it, it runs it's a thing that runs in the family like her sister's like has it really really bad um and it, i'm afraid of me getting that i'm afraid more of my mom getting it because you know she's like the she's like the direct descendant of my my grandma and stuff like that's but that's where that fear sprawled out of like first it started off with mental you know decline then it moved on to death itself and then my own like the thought of my own death then sparked the question like shit fuck my dad's getting old as hell what do i do about that shit fuck my sister probably will outlive us like and then and then i i I, just like yeah and i want to say and my i i want to say that it started like uh, it probably started for everyone in 2020 because it's like just a shit year um like 2020, I was convinced for the longest time, May 25th, May 25th exactly, we were going to hit by an asteroid and we were all going to die. Mm. Come May, May 25th, no one died. And just the thought of dying, like, okay, yay, no asteroid, but, you know, I'm going to die still. I'm going to die still. Yeah. I'm going to die still. It's something. Still. It's impending it, doom it, constantly. Yeah. yeah, it's impending yeah. doom. And I've been trying to like i've been trying to get into therapy and stuff i've been trying to you know like make appointments and stuff to to talk with someone okay about it but like i'll be honest with y'all i'm in college right now twenty thousand dollars in debt freshman year i don't got time for anything like and if i do got time for anything i i just i use what i can to sleep because god working a job too in this yeah. fucking economy is yeah so so like i really just i try to pull myself out of that hole like i I try distracting myself with any little thing that there is but i will always end up coming back to fuck i'm gonna die yeah you're working to support yourself in order to support yourself you're you're working to support to support yourself enough to afford therapy and to even begin to yeah it's it's the battle of of um the monetary and the the physical the health the body like what you need to do to take care of yourself um yeah yeah i don't know how you guys feel but i think the cool thing about dying is that it happens it's like this unifying thing that happens to everyone like nobody's above it I, I, you know it would be way worse. You know what's way worse than economy. dying? Living forever. That yeah. would be horrible. It would. That, it that. would fucking suck. It would suck so bad. It would be so shit. Imagine that. Think about. Think about you know, that. Yeah, I. I um. Forever. You know, as a little, as a little kid, like, and it's gonna sound cliche as fuck, but as a little kid, like, you know, one thinks they're gonna live forever. One thinks nothing's gonna kill them. Like. Believe me, like that thought of like immortality as a kid was like, oh, like nothing, like I'm invincible and stuff. Now, like as a, you know, maturing adult, like I don't believe me. I don't want to be like as much as I'm afraid of dying. I wouldn't want to stay alive after it to see that friends die. That's what you should do is you should if you, you see, you should replace this fear with the fear of living forever and then you can satiate your new fear with your old one, which is, oh, thank God, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. And it becomes a, a, a meditative never... good thing. Yeah. Are you afraid of, That's you afraid of never, dying I... at all? How do you feel I... about your um, mortality? To an extent, yeah, because I know that, like, I couldn't defend myself in a specific situation. Uh, I'm talking mainly about, like, but the inevitability, just not the like, inevitability? yeah, not no. like, oh, I'm gonna get murdered. No, I, th- I don't think that I am. I think I just, yeah, yeah, I don't think I am. I hope you don't die anytime soon. I, I, oh, no, yeah, I'm, I don't think you, mm. I don't think you will. I, I, I hope it's like not saying that, saying I, that I, is kind of, saying that's kind of like jinxing it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That would suck if you just uh, died. I think right I got half of a forty call. ounce in me, so don't maybe take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, Eddie, how do you? Before we go, how do you want to die? Like, if you could like pick anything. Okay, well, I've thought I there has been a few ways like of me dying. I, if I don't die in my sleep, 
I want to just be killed fat like quickly, mm. like so I quick and painless as, as painless as can be because I don't I don't want to feel shit when I die. I get that. Um, and you know, or let's you know, let's see in what course this country takes. Like you know, let's say they legalize euthanasia. Like if I'm like in, in a really bad condition, like I'd I'd rather go out like literally getting euthanized. And it sounds like it sounds barbaric it sounds like whatever but like i i wouldn't want to like if i'm in a state of suffering and like i'm asking all this to like in a, as a question like if you're in a state of suffering do you really think it, it's like ethical for you to hang around longer like you know what i'm saying like you know, eddie i think of, you like, should put across like i think you should play some tetris man i think you need something that just gets you f- <laughs> yeah you gotta move your digits yeah just something that fully just gets you <laughs> Out of your, but you're thinking too much. Yeah, you're thinking way too much. Yeah, you, you need get... to stimulate. St- just keep stimulating your brain with just like shit. Like play something. Play play a game. <laughs> play some games. Video games really are a great way to for, forget about for death. For real. For real. Um, thank you for calling, Eddie. Any final words? Um, well, uh, yeah, Gek, you're awesome. Dojo, you're fucking amazing. Um, and thank you, know, you. fan of the show. I'm glad I got to talk with y'all. Have a good Thanks, evening. Thanks, man. Take care, Eddie. You as well. That really is like that's all I'm looking for, man. That's all I want. That's all. That's all I want is just to be it, just to be in the moment. Yeah. Just to not be with my fucking thoughts, because when you're depressed, you're thinking about the past and possibly the future. When you're anxious, thinking about the future. But when you're just playing Tetris and getting drunk, yeah, you're right. You're there. Yeah, you yeah. You know. Yeah. So you don't. You don't. You're not afraid of death at all you're like you've accepted it yeah i think i've accepted it how would you if somebody if you got like, diagnosed with like a terminal thing and it was like you have a week i would, would be, be like, like i'd be like oh let me prep my brain for this okay i would be like yeah i mean fuck it like what am i gonna do mm-hmm. let me like do something i like mm-hmm. i'd be like what's a fun thing i can do right now <laughs> like what? hey yeah. this sucks mm-hmm. but like what's a what's a cool a cool thing to get into while this sucks. A death hobby. Yeah, death rally hobby. Death rally hobby, like, uh, I'm trying to think of something. Well, I, I assume a death rally hobby would be something dangerous. Would it? Oh, my God. It, uh, um, Breaking Bad, kind of. Yeah. But no, not me. Selling meth just as a hobby. Yeah. No, not for me, but, you know. Um, I think I would just, like, uh, yeah, I would... I would just be creative as I can in that in that time. Are you? Does the concept of legacy is that a thing that you think about, or do you think about like? Not at all. That's good. Not at all. That's good. Like I don't want kids ever. Really? No. Never. Yeah. No. Really. Because the thing about life is when you have kids, like. You're going to destroy them. Like you you're going to shit. Yeah. yeah, you're going to fuck them up. Like mm-hmm. there's you don't have a choice. So mm-hmm. I just I don't feel like fucking anybody up. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, no judgment towards people who have kids. It's just I like, don't want to do that. Do you ever fantasize about domesticated life? Just like like are you like a I want a ranch in Wyoming? <gasps> oh yeah, person? 100%. I want like dogs. Yeah, dogs yeah, yeah. Again. Hard to fuck up dogs. Yeah, I want dogs. I want to be responsible enough to take care of dogs. I like animals. Like, if I'm going to have kids, they're just going to be, like, hairy animals. Mm -hmm. Four-legged. Quadrupedal? What's the four four legs on four legs? Quadrupedal. 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 Quadrupedal puppies. Yeah, quadrupedal puppies is what I would have. Is there a breed of dog that you're particularly interested in? I really like Scotty dogs, and mm-hmm. I like um, anything that just can't kill me. No pit bulls. Um, I, I, so I had, um, before I readopted my dog to my one of my best friends, uh, I had a, uh, what's his name? Or oh, sorry, what is it? What is it called? It's called a... a American bully, but I don't think that he was like purebred. I think he had like a mixture of a couple things. Mm. I don't know what the deal was over there with that. They didn't have really the right information. I don't think mm. about his uh, yeah, his mixture. But he was 
He's the perfect dog. He's a textbook, gorgeous, like, perfect proportions, like, beautiful, like, best personality that I've ever seen in a dog. Mm. A little, like, jumpy still in his puppy mode, but he has these moments where he sits there and he just looks into your eyes and he just, like, takes you in. Are you a cat person at all? I am a cat person. I have four cats. You have four cats? I have four cats. I have two babies, one 16-year-old. Do they come with you when you, with lymphoma. When you tour and stuff? Yeah. Uh, no, they don't. Because cats get stressed out and they like to be in one spot mm-hmm. forever. Mm-hmm. They like routine. So I, I wouldn't do that to my babies, but I'd, sometimes I do wish that I could bring them with me. Yeah, you know... um, I've always said, that, like, the thing about kids is it's really the only thing, really the only, th- anything could happen to you and you could figure out a way to deal with it, except, like, grievous injury, death, going to prison, or having children. Mm-hmm. Those are, like, the four things that, like, you can't, you can't hustle your way out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, like, it is frowned up, I mean, you can abandon your child, but that's... Yeah, Aban- that's frowned upon. Yeah, that's those are cool. permanent. That's not cool. Those are like the four permanent. Th- anything else? Like you can quit your job. You can get yeah. divorced. You can. Do you have pets? Uh, I have a dog. Okay. Um, uh, but it's not my dog. It's like my family's dog. Okay. My dog. Wait. Earlier, you said you had two questions for me. Oh, I do have two questions for you. What were your two questions? Um. Is it is it still gay if you come? And, um, uh, hold on, wait, before I, I want to think, is, is it still gay? Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be, is it still gay if you don't come? Because if you come, that would make it more gay. Is it, oh, sorry. Is it gay if you don't come? Is it still gay if you don't come? Is it still gay? Wait. Are you t- are you t- and and I I assume the context is gay sex. I wrote it correctly and yeah. I don't remember how I wrote it. The question is is it gay is it still gay to have gay sex if you don't come? Yeah. Is it gay to have gay sex if you don't come? Do you want to know what the other question was? Yes. Uh, why isn't your face red if you're the mouth? If it's the mouth. Like your face is inside of the mouth. Like you should be like, it should be red. Or like black or something. It's probably gay. Yeah, it's probably gay. Let's take another call. Hello. Howdy. Ooh, I like howdy. howdy. How's it going, Carlos? What's up? Um, I'm doing well. Um, I have a lot going on, but um, I am trying to wonder how to attract a dominant woman into mm-hmm. my life. I can help you with that. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 38. Uh, fuck, maybe I can't help you with that. Because he's 38? I don't know. I don't know what older women are doing that, 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 like, in your bracket vibes. That would be like a... Like a, a cougar for you at this point would be like a woman in her sixties. Well, I also don't know what type. What what what's your age preference? Um, I I, I try and uh, I don't know, like uh, mid twenties to mid forties, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, uh, uh, damn, how would you attract? Okay, how to attract? How to attract a dominant woman? Wear a um, wear one of those rainbow hats with a spinner on it. Yeah, you could do that. You could also, you could do that. Damn. And a big lollipop. 
I'm like really struggling trying to. I don't know, go to karaoke? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Where do where do you think dominant women hang out? Yeah, where do dominant women hang out? What about those axe throwing places? You could t- no, because that's uh maybe at a shooting range? At an axe throwing range? Yeah. Go to You're in te- you're in Texas, right? I I am. Go to a gun range. Oh, I'm. I'm. I don't. Dominant, dominant women. Dominant women want to go to a place. Yeah. Where. They feel. Damn it. And what does a dominant woman want? So I'm trying. To, I'm trying to start from 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 the bottom here. I don't know. I'm not sure. I know where that is. Like where. Go to like a like a bar that has a pool table in it. They like leaning up against pool tables and like play. I don't know, honestly, man. I'm. <laughs> he might. He might be a. Lyle might be, be a better. Help to you. Are you? Okay, do you consider? Well, what, do you, what are you thinking? Do you consider yourself a? Are you a docile? Boy, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess a. Do, yeah, I guess I'm, a I'm, dominant I'm... woman. I assume if you want a dominant woman. You're a submissive man, or I assume dominant yeah, women I'm, I'm... would be would do, would a dominant woman typically be attracted to a more an even more dominant man or to a submissive man? People are too complex for me to even like answer that. Do you use do you use dating apps? I I try to, but like I'm all already dealing with the fact that around here. People are just not my type generally. Yeah, mm. I get that. Damn. There are a lot of people here that, like, they hold values that, that I don't. And then, like, I, I'm also like you where I, I don't really want kids. And there are a lot of people that really want to start families. And I, it's not for me. Maybe a creative woman. Mm. I think creative women... They paint their own, they paint their own reality in some way. Mm. They kind of have control over, over, they have, they have a, they have a vision. And I think you have to have a vision in order to be dominant or somewhat Uh, in control, right? So somebody with a vision creatively. I was thinking that too because I'm I'm trying to become a better artist and I one of the the jokes online is that you know when people make art they just this is their barely disguised fetish and it's like yes I want to draw things that you know turn me on and turn others on yeah so maybe I should be the one to be drawing that as well yeah are you do you draw like giantesses? Yeah, what yeah, what do you draw? No, it's usually like uh bondage stuff and like muzzles and leashes. <laughs> so your art your art directly um mirrors what you are seeking. Quite kind literally. Of, yeah. To some extent. Okay. Um Honestly, man, you you might want to just be involved in a community that's into that sort of thing, mm. right? Like you just, mm-hmm. you know, like poke around and see who's see who's into what. And uh, there's there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that are in, that are into that. Brother, why don't you yeah. get on? Uh, uh, why don't you get on Fet Life? You know what life? Yeah, is? get a fet life. Get a yeah. fe- I bet. <laughs> go to go to Folsom. Have you gone to What's Folsom? Folsom Street Fair? Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. dude. I bet or don't. Fet Life in Texas is fucking crazy. Yeah. I bet this I bet there's a scene of all kinds of people who would love to tie you up and piss in your mouth <laughs> that you can find on Fet Life. <laughs> He's not kidding. You're probably I've, right. 
Yeah, try Fet Life. I would trust it. <laughs> I would trust. Try that. Try poke around on the people. poke around on the internet a little bit. Look at some look at some uh, some forums. Yeah, go on the forums. You know. Is that what you're looking for? Somebody to piss in your mouth? <laughs> no, no, not really. No. So specific. I just want a, a loving. I mean, is that the, I mean, I mean, I mean listen, he's looking. If you're looking for someone to, I feel like isn't that the <laughs> ultimate form of? It's, I mean, like domination I, is somebody peeing in your mouth. Yeah, sure, but that's so specific because that's just water sports. That's not even like. <laughs> what do you mean? It's water. That's sports? water sports. That's like a. That's like a category. <laughs> I've never that's, heard heard it referred to as it's, water. It's sports. literally called water sports, and it's a it's a specific category. You're saying it like it's in the Olympics. I mean, it fucking kind of is. With how how uh, maybe with how intense maybe it can be. Needs to spend more time on the internet. No, I don't. I don't think he likes to gargle. I think he's more of like a. <laughs> I think you hear more of like a cerebral, a cerebral fucker. A cerebral fucker. Yeah, he's more an intellectual fucker. <laughs> yes. Uh, woo, yeah, woo, me, woo me with your mind. I think that it's part of. I think it's like, do you do you feel you feel safe with someone who's dominant because you feel like there's somebody who is in control and and you you feel like you can lean on that a little bit and you can trust mm. like you want to trust someone. Mm. I like the idea of being being vulnerable with another person. Like I I really want that. I've I've just been alone for a while now and it's. Mm. it's yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's hard. So okay, so this is not a sexual thing specifically. This is just you want someone to you, you want someone to, that you can trust to be vulnerable. Well, with. a lot of the a lot of that BDSM stuff is like rooted in like a like a core thing that people people have been through different things in their life where they need to feel like they can open up to somebody or they can trust somebody. And like, for instance, like if you tie someone up, you're putting all of your, it's like a trust fall. Like mm -hmm. you're just putting your, you're just saying like, Hey, like, yeah, that's literally it. You're no, just yeah, like saying, fall. I trust you. And, 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 and that's a huge part of relationships is trusting mm -hmm. people. Some mm -hmm. people have relationships where they don't trust yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing more ultimate than like being, like being in trust with someone. Mm. No, that's a good mm. way to look at it. You're it's looking important. for somebody who you can trust enough to tie you up. Yeah, because that because once you're tied up, they could like put a cigarette on a, out on your nipple, and then and you're like, ow, and then <laughs> or, or they could they could they could throw you in a cold pool, or something that you wouldn't like but they won't do that because because they love you because they love you yeah and you trust them not to do those things some people like cigarettes being put out on their nipples so i kind of want to get on fet life now do make one i make one i run into carlos run wild hell yeah what would be your thing what would be my thing it would be would it be being a furry Look at cosplay Dude, all right. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, "Are you? Are you? Am I a furry?" <laughs> and if the definite okay, if a furry is a furry. somebody, well, technically, I'd be a scaly. You're such a fucking scaly. If a furry is merely somebody who is a human being that regularly dresses as an animal, I do fit that description. Yes. Yeah. You know. If I, 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 there's nothing wrong with furries. Maybe I'm a furry. <laughs> he's a cosplayer. He's a he's a yeah. He's a he's a furry. Uh, Lyle, do y'all know what mer suiting is? <laughs> say this. Sorry, what? Say, say that again. Mer suiting. It's, mer suiting. It's when you have sex while you're in a, a fur suit. Oh. What about it? That's what they uh, do. Like they do that in the suit. By the way, no yeah. way that that lasts longer than five minutes. What having sex in a costume? in a fur suit? Oh you know my! How, like, you'd probably sweat your fucking balls off. Physically yeah. able, you have to be. You know, physically like just 
advanced you have to be to be able to do something like that with like the gloves and like it's like doing push-ups with with like a weight on your back you're you looking know? out of a mouth that has like a black mesh on it probably and you can't see anything yeah it just sounds absurd imagine i'm imagining it but... as the guy though <laughs> It's kind of like two glory holes having sex with each other. Oh wow! Like you're just you're fu- right because you're fully um, blocked off. That's true. You're like oh, you're just two walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That are that are going at each other. All right. Well, I've also heard that those costumes, like the real ones, are like I mean people people will drop ten G's. Oh yeah, they're on, so expensive. Costumes. Oh my god, yeah, they're, they're so they're expensive. Are you an, are you a fur suit guy? I doubt uh, it. No, I, I, I consider myself a furry, but I don't I don't have the money for the fur suit. <laughs> oh, you are a furry, but you don't have the suit. Right. Oh, okay, okay. What? Uh, so how do you how like you your furry is in you like it's it's like mentally you're an animal or how does that work for you? No, I, I just I just like furry characters nice and i like taking, to, I taking like to on draw another identity well. sorry I, like you like to take on another identity other than yourself it's the, Kinda, the yeah, fantasy yeah. aspect of it like that that, that kind of goes along with like the the bdsm stuff it's like it's just role play with another person yeah yeah you're, you're building a scenario mm-hmm. you're yeah. building a world that's fun. Yeah. Well, get hell a, yeah. You should get like a. What would the fursona be of a dominant woman? Like a like a rhino. She'd be like a. <laughs> I don't know if I'd fuck a rhino. <clears throat> what if? I don't know if she'd be a rhino. I mean, maybe she'd be a rhino. F- fuck it, she'll be a rhino. But I mean, whatever, dude. I maybe like a like a horse or something. No, because you ride a horse. A horse is a submissive True. creature sometimes, but it's also a creature that runs wild. So to some extent, I don't know. They can go both ways. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Grant, do you feel like this was helpful for you? Uh, a little bit. That's nice. Good enough. Yeah. That's good enough for me. Um, thank you uh, for calling, Grant. I'll start a FetLife account, I guess. <laughs> Please do. All right. Have a good night, Grant. You too. Wait, I don't know why. I, I don't, why the fuck have I been calling? Your name is Carlos. Why have I been calling you Grant? Oh, this is it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's another guy uh, in the it's, thing it's, called it's, Grant. It's whatever, man. Bye, Carlos. Bye, Carlos. Love you both. Bye. Good luck. Dude, I have to piss. Go piss. Really? Yeah, go piss. I'm, I'll hang out. I'll, I'll talk to the chat. How was your bathroom break? Do you feel relieved? It was cool. I, I went barefoot and I stepped on something wet. Do you think I have athlete's foot now? Um, You might have something. Well, I don't even know what athlete's foot is. I definitely have something. Well, athlete's foot is... Athlete's foot is more just like when like your feet are sweat. It's like you got to be an athlete, but not really. It's like you're... You're like are wearing too tight of shoes, and you know. You ever heard of foot in mouth disease? No, that sounds hot. What is that? I don't. Oh, I was asking because that's something I've just heard of. I assume it's a disease that you get when you put your feet in your mouth. Okay. Okay. At and then athlete's foot in mouth is the disease you get when you step in something wet in the bathroom and then you put your feet in your mouth. Okay. Okay. So I could, if I wanted to, I could have foot in mouth. Syndrome? Do you think people ever make themselves sick for fun? Me? Really? No. <laughs> That's gotta be someone's thing. Part of me likes to be sick, absolutely. Do you ever get sick and you feel like... Mm. Yeah, like you're a, little, you're a little high. Yeah. Yeah, you get a little... Like you get a fever. Like when you get the flu. Yeah. Do you well, ever... It, well, it's a great excuse to not fucking do anything right and um do you are you, do you ever, but does it ever feel good 
Like, you know, when you're in bed and you're like out of body and mm-hmm. you're like, and you're like floating. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of like restriction of oxygen to the brain. Yeah. It does feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a NyQuil person? No, I don't take any of that stuff. I think I'm scared of it. Really? I think I'm scared of NyQuil. What, or, is, what or, are you scared of? Or maybe I'm not scared of, well, NyQuil is always a drink thing. Like you always drink it. So it's no, you liquid. Can take it as, you can take it as a pill. Oh, okay. No, I, I, yeah, I think I just avoid anything that's like a liquid medicine. Okay. So I just don't. Not to like try to put you on a new vice, but um, fucking Nyquil is so awesome. I've never done, <laughs> I've never done lean before, but I have. I would probably love it. Is that like baby lean? I th- lean is just. Have you ever done lean? Nyquil? Is baby lean? Le- no, lean is just Nyquil and like. What? I haven't, but lean is just Nyquil, right? Uh, y- uh yes, it's like very strong. Um. That's that's big boy Nyquil, and then Nyquil is baby lean, and they put Jolly Ranchers in it. Yeah, it and then they like put Jolly Ranchers so in it, good. and then they rot their teeth, and then they make it. They're embarrassing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. Some people like really, really like that shit, and they can't even help themselves, and so I understand that. So that's, you know, no, no, no judgment, but but like, but. I don't think the lean, do you think are you afraid the lean community is gonna I think that the lean community might come after me. You think R slash lean is gonna <laughs> via 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 X dot com. I think that the lean community is gonna be really upset about that one. Um well my message to the lean community, if anyone wants to hook me up with some free lean, I would love to try it. Is there any like what's left for you to try that you haven't tried yet? Why isn't your face red? I'm never going to answer that question. Why would you do that? Do what? Why would you not answer that question? Some things in life. You love that you that you painted your face green and you're not following the norms of how geckos should anatomically add up. I ain't a normal gecko. You're like a you're like a you're like a Fuck it, whatever. Moving on. What's up? So what was that? What were you going to ask me? Oh, uh, if there's anything you haven't tried yet that you want to try, just in general. Anything that in, oh, like drugs? It, it could, it, I, it, the I question, the question was spurred by a, by a drug thing, but it does not have to be a drug um, answer. Okay, okay. Something that I want to try. I want to try, um, uh, uh. Ooh, I want to go to a rave. You've never been to a rave? I've never been to a rave. I would have thought you'd like... I seem like that, don't I? uh, Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't. I really want to go to a rave. I want to be sweaty. I think I would have never done that in the past just because my... my, I would, like, wear wigs and stuff, and Mm -hmm. there'd be, like, glue on my head, and, Mm -hmm. like, it was gross, and, like, to be in a sweaty environment. I feel like you could put together, like, a sick rave outfit. Oh, my God, Yeah. Yeah, I've been what practicing. You, what would your, what would your rave outfit be? It would be so chill. First of all, it would be. I have two. Di- I have a couple different outfits. My one would be like some regular like windbreaker pants with like the stripes down the side and like a little, like a tiny little t shirt. I'd put fake nipples under so that it looked like I'm my my nipples are erect the whole night mm-hmm. and it's hot and I'm and I got glitter on my face. And I have on like maybe no makeup. I might put on some like some uh, mascara, but just glitter. And then, uh, and like, yeah, and, and and some sneakers. I feel like you would you ever would you ever like? Are you? I know you're like experimenting with different genres. Would you, ever, would you ever do like a DJ set? Would you ever like play a rave? Um, I don't know. And I honestly, I think that like my focus isn't very great for mm-hmm. something like that. I think I'd get distracted quite easily. Mm -hmm. Um, I can see myself having too much fun Mm -hmm. and then like ruining the set. I actually, I put on a rave uh, for New Year's this year. It was called the, it was called the reptile rave. No way. It's called the reptile rave. And um, we got a real, we got a DJ and I stood on stage and just did this. Did I hear about this? Were there like, were there like folks there? 
Uh, there was like a hundred. There's no, it was. It wasn't like a hella uh, folks or not. I don't think not I folks. would be. If you had heard of this, I would be extremely surprised. Oh, okay. No, it was the reptile rave. Um, niche folks. Niche folks. Okay. People. Some people showed up in crocodile costumes. Okay. I just wanted to do something different. I don't even like MD. I don't even. I don't even like a EDM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought it'd be fun. I. That's dope. I love themed parties too. Would you ever go? You should go to uh, Shrek Rave. That's like t- taking over the I, nation. That's what I heard about. That that's, I yeah, got Shrek mixed Rave, yeah. up with what you were saying. Yeah. Um. Really? Shrek Rave? What's what does that entail? I mean, does everyone look like Shrek? I well, I think people. Um. Dress up as characters from Shrek. Okay. And then the DJ plays, I assume, I've never been, but the, I assume the DJ would play music that like samples Shrek. I want to go, I, I want to go, I want to go, I want to get two, two of my homies go as the three little pigs. <laughs> what the fuck? That's amazing. Ooh, there's that... also um, the SpongeBob rave. Oh, I think it's by the same see, people. now I would do that. I would Are do that SpongeBob one. Fan? I, but I'm also a Shrek, I get the whole Shrek thing. Mm-hmm. I love that, like, the producers of Shrek did not see that coming, probably. I'm surprised they haven't gotten C and D'd. What is that? Cease and desist. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah, yeah. Are you a SpongeBob fan? I'm a big sponger. Um, and I sponge frequently. I love, I, I love SpongeBob so much. I, um, it's sad because I think, and no offense to, like, I know it's not easy to make a show. This is going to seem mean, but like it it it's been bad since after season 3, I think. Yeah. There's only been 3 good seasons of SpongeBob in my opinion. I think something happened, obviously. Um, yeah. but I I do really love SpongeBob, yeah. Well, um if so if you were going to go to the SpongeBob rape, what character would you? I would be well, obviously I'd be Sandy cuz I just want to be sexy. I I don't understand the implication that you can't be sexy as, as, I just, as like Squidward well, or thanks. Mr. Krabs. Thank you, Patrick. I think you could put you could put, you could pull you could pull. I off could any be of a sexy Patrick. Pulls. I could be a sexy Patrick, but I honestly, Sandy, because I love wearing a little tiny bra and then put and then wow. You know what? She is. She's like kind of naked in that whole. She's like totally like naked and like she's like. Yeah, she's got like body and everything. Sort Sandy, of. not really. She's a squirrel. I shouldn't say that. We need Carlos's opinion. We do. We need Carlos's opinion on Sandy cheeks. Um, have you have you ever done MDMA before? I have. Do you like it? Yeah. It's the best. I want to do it. Last time I did it was uh, at Coachella two years ago. I haven't done it since. It's yeah, I um I stopped doing all of that stuff way back when, but I've had a great experience on it, um, and I really didn't need to do it more than more than once or twice. I think I did it twice. I think I felt pretty satisfied after the second time. I think it's just like intense, and I have so much like I get like overstimulated, and I have a lot of energy, and like I just don't even need it. Mm-hmm. I don't even need it. Mm-hmm. I think I like naturally. I'm just like people like really genuinely think that I do like coke. Mm-hmm. People think I'm like a cokehead. Why do you think people think that? I maybe because like I'm like I have like corny moments about me. Mm-hmm. Like I can be quite corny and like outspoken or something or like I'm loud or something or like I can come off very angry sometimes and like on live and Mm -hmm. shit like that I think that's a lot of what it is and I I'm I'm just I'm just a goofy I'm just a goofy guy I mean it's just I mean it's like a it's all a character yeah I think sometimes when I'm a goofy babe people get you know they get uncomfortable are you like a are you or were you ever like a shrooms acid person? I did. I did my share of shrooms. I did my acid. I quit cigarettes on acid. I heard it. I heard, I forget what interview, but I heard you tell a story about how you quit nicotine through hypnosis. Yeah, and I quit. I quit nicotine through hypnosis. What the? What recently? Was? Nine months ago. Eight months ago. I heard that, and I was like, "Fuck! I gotta check out hypnosis." Yeah. 
Um, and I have some interesting, uh, is it prognosis? I don't know the words very, very much, but I, I, uh, I quit cigarettes. I walked in, I walked into that hypnosis session, Mm -hmm. walked out of that building and didn't smoke one cigarette or have one nicotine vape for nine months. Really? What? Can you, can you explain what went on in your brain after um, that? I just was like, fuck, I want a cigarette so bad. And then I was like, I don't smoke cigarettes. But I'm not a smoker. I don't smoke. I don't I don't want a cigarette. I don't smoke. Mm. But I do want a cigarette, but I don't smoke. Mm. So that's what, there's this internal dialogue over and over and over every single day. And in my mind, I would scream inside my head. Mm-hmm. I would go, I'm not. Like, I'm not a smoker, I don't smoke. Mm-hmm. I'm a non-smoker, I don't smoke. I don't want to smoke. Like, I wouldn't say I don't want to smoke, but I would say, I'm a non-smoker and I don't smoke. And I would say it in my head over and over every time I thought about cigarettes. You make it an identity. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Into it. Or I just like, th- I just think about it. It occupies my mind that I don't smoke cigarettes. I just don't. I'm trying to get on that wave with uh i've been addicted to candy that's like my vice it's like Cute. Ca- candy and like sugar and like that's the problem is that it's it see it the fact that it's teeth? cute is a problem yeah. because it's like uh well it's bad well do you br- like do you brush your teeth and everything like that sometimes and this is embarrassing to say as an adult but i'll say it sometimes I get too lazy and I don't brush at night. I brush every morning. You know what? I don't brush at night either. I never do. <laughs> I don't brush at night ever. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I like, yeah. Can I, all right. So like you, fu- all right, you go out, you play a fucking arena show. you you throw your entire life in your, throw it all out yeah. on the stage yeah. You're exhausted. Yeah. You have nothing left to give. Yeah. You're not going to brush your fucking teeth after that. No. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to brush my teeth after a relaxing night of Fortnite. Mm. I'm not going to even do it then. What, do you brush your teeth at all? Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Why did I just say that? <laughs> God fucking damn it. Do you? Do you was that the truth? I tr- brush what's, what's my the fucking you... teeth. Look at my teeth. You have, you have nice teeth. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. But do you brush them twice a day or just And once? I brush my... So so my thing with my teeth is one of my exes used to brush their teeth for like 10 minutes straight, nonstop. And I felt like he had like a moral high ground over me. And so I started brushing my teeth for a very long time. Mm. And then I brush my tongue for like five minutes I'm every single day. Is, is, is a little... It's, it's, it's weird. I brush the absolute fucking life out of my tongue. Mm-hmm. I get everything off of that thing. Because I'm terrified of of bad breath. I even mentioned it when you were doing my makeup earlier. Mm, you did. Yeah. You did. You didn't have bad really? breath. Really? No. You swear to God. No. Okay. I, cool. Here's the thing. Good. I, I I wouldn't tell you if you did. Why? Am I scary? No, I don't think you're scary. Oh. But you didn't. Okay. Okay. Well, that well, that's truth. fucked up, though. What's fucked you up? You should tell me that I have my have stinky breath. I don't remember. You. I don't think you did. Do you feel like you have bad breath right now? Well, um, my mouth did taste questionable earlier, and I'm not sure why. Did you eat anything weird? No, I did. Well, I had wine and lemonade, but that's not weird. That's not weird at all. Yeah. Um, do you brush your teeth like during the? Wait, you had a. Okay, so your ex, like he was like posturing about he... how he <laughs> how he brushed his teeth. No, like he. I mean, like he would just be. He would like do things while he's brushing his teeth. And he would keep his mouth closed so it wasn't like a mess. Mm -hmm. And he he would just like walk around the house with the toothbrush in his mouth and just like sit with it and like lay down with the in bed with the toothbrush in his mouth. And so I would look at that and go, fuck, I've got to get my shit together. And so I got veneers and I started brushing my teeth like religiously. 10 minutes at a time, whatever, six minutes or something like that, not 10. 10 is, 10 is insane, but, you know. All right, let's get into this. Flossing. 
I don't do that. And I, and I want me to tell you something right now. Please. I went to the dentist the other day for a cleaning and they said, do you floss? And I went, no. And I was like all like, you know, shy about it and mm -hmm. guilty. Mm -hmm. And then, and she was like, you're good. You're fine. You don't have to, like, you're good. Your dentist told you that? My one, so not my I've dentist. I've never had a dentist in my fucking life tell me that. Not my dentist, but the, what's the other, the person that helps the dentist? Dental assistant? Dental assistant. Or dentist. Fuck it. Wait, okay, here's the, if the dental assistant says you're going to be fine, and then the dentist says you got a floss. No, the dentist didn't even say that. He didn't even, like, like say, hey, make sure you floss when you go home. Like, they'd, like, they were just, like, just brush your teeth and, like, get in there, and, like, once it's smooth, you're good. I don't know if you feel like that. Every time I go to a dentist, or even a doctor, I feel like I'm, like, talking to the assist The assistant's doing 97% of the work, and the doctor or the dentist comes in, looks at the teeth real quick, and just dips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does. the fuck is that shit? Yeah. You're the dentist. Shouldn't you be doing most of the I stuff? I think that the dentist, in, the, in, a, in a way, is like a... They're like a surgeon, almost. Like, they're, like, doing the real... The real deal. Like, getting in there and taking those... What is that called? The root canal, taking those things out of your teeth and redoing your teeth and opening them up and blasting them with crazy shit. You ever have um, you ever have? A t I think they're called tooth tunes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I remember the thing, that. The things that like they would uh, it would play like a Justin Bieber song, like very Y2K, very early, very much, 2000s. and it would like uh play for two because you're supposed you're apparently supposed to brush your teeth for two whole minutes now that I, the, another thing i'll admit and i brush my teeth every day at least once i don't do do you know how long two minutes is it's pretty long it's not long you have to what you do is you take so you need like a laptop or something and then you just like put on music and then you just like daydream while you tooth while you brush your teeth you daydream while you, what do you dream about when you brush your teeth Is this a I'm thinking face, or I don't know if I want to say it face? Men. <laughs> My voice cracked when I said that. That's that's really sweet. Men. You dream about men when you brush your teeth. Yeah, sometimes. That's really sweet. Sometimes. That's really nice. That would be the... If somebody... And if, how much if somebody they annoy told, me. How much they what? How much they annoy me. Why do men annoy you? I don't know. It's like, why... why they annoy anyone. I love men. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. M we move on. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say if somebody told me they were thinking about me while brushing their teeth, I would be flattered. Yeah. But if they were, th if somebody told me they were brushing their teeth, thinking about how annoying I was. Yeah. I would we find just that funny. You think about life and you think about what you want when you brush your teeth. It's like right before you fall asleep. It's like you lay in bed and you like think about a thing and then you slowly fall asleep. It's like the same with brushing your teeth. You do it for a full two minutes? What do you do in the shower? What do I do in the shower? Yeah. Like when you shower, like oh, you know what do I you do in the think shower? about shit? Um, I, I'm, I don't have a shower right now where I can do this, but normally I sit down. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 every time I can, I will sit down in the shower and I'll let the water pour over me and I'll, it'll just be like a, it's very meditative. Do you not sit down in the shower? Um, I don't because it's different when there's like balls, nothing can get into your balls because there's no like hole there. Like if you, I don't have balls. So like if I sit. If you're afraid if you sit down way, in the shower. I'm getting athlete's get pussy. Your, you're getting athlete's pussy. So I can't. Can you, I can't sit on the. Can you get a vaginal infection from sitting down? Oh, in the, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, oh, in like, the tub, in a tub. Yeah. Well, I mean, but like if you're at home, right? And you have a trusted tub that you know does not have any vagina bacteria. Well, that's different. That's different if it's a tub. Some showers have like a bench in it, and something about that puts me off. I don't like the vibe of like seat in the shower you're afraid you're gonna catch something i'd rather sit down on the ground which would be the tub yeah i'd rather be like this because then you see i'm angled in such a way you're like you're, you're like cradling yourself right and that's me in the shower i, I wonder sometimes if it's tub. a 
like is that like a depressed person thing to do to sit down in the shower you think that it is but really it's just like quite a nice feeling to like be it's almost like there's rain yeah it feels rain like sim it's like a simulation of rain yeah it's sad but it's cool it's fine um do you ever do you ever pee in the shower absolutely all the time i piss on my legs every day yeah me too yeah do you ever feel guilty? Like, why am I doing this? This is a bad thing to do. I should. I, I feel guilty if, if, like, like if I'm staying at a friend's house and I piss in the shower. I feel guilty. Really? Yeah. I don't. Does that say something about me? It does that mean that I'm like a bad person? I mean, if I had a friend, probably not. If I had like but... any of my for anyone who. Anyone who wants to can piss in my shower. I don't care. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't care if somebody peed in my shower. I had a guy call into the show once who said that he he said I pee in the shower, but I know everyone pees in the shower, but my thing is I only pee in the shower. Like like he'll like if he's like at someone's house He he's, holds it? No, no 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 like like so like if he's at someone's house and he's like hold on I have to go to the bathroom he goes to the bathroom and pees in the shower. Why the fuck would he do that? I don't I have no idea. He definitely should be calling you about that issue because that's that's an issue. Um, I don't know what I told him, but uh, yeah, I, pee- I think I've started peeing the shower every time I take a shower. Yeah, you should. But then, but then I, I'll pee in the shower and then I sit down in the shower and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm sitting. You in- piss, then you sit down immediately after, or do you wait for the yellow to disappear? I wait for the yellow to disappear. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah. I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get a sometimes. I'm gonna get athlete's butthole, athlete's ball sack. You can't get an infection in your booty hole. It's a booty hole. You haven't seen that movie? <laughs> what? Like, no. What movie is it? It's a, it's uh, with Tiffany Haddish and uh, and uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Is that there's, there's no sci- I feel like there's no science to that. What is it called, girl? Gr- it's called Ladies Having Fun. I don't know what it's called, but it, the movie is Ladies Having Fun. You can get all kinds of infections in your butthole. Um, no, you can't. Google it that. right now. No, you can't. Google, can you get an infection in your asshole? All right, I'm going to actually do that. Can you get an infection in your asshole? Anal yeast infections are a common fungal infection caused by a yeast called I should have been had that at one point in my life. I have not gotten that. Sorry to Tiffany Haddish. Intense itching sensation around your anus called, oh, pruritus ani. But don't be alarmed. Uh, Treatments, they have antifungal creams, ointments, and suppositories. But and you you can prevent anal yeast infection. This I don't know why they wrote this. This is That's redundant. Bullshit. They said you can prevent anal yeast infections by keeping your perianal area clean and dry, which probably includes not sitting in piss. Yeah, probably. But but but. That I'm not a doctor, but that's bullshit. You cannot get an infection in your asshole. Well, I don't care what Google says. Hey, you want to take a phone call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Is, any, is anything standing out to you? Yeah, I kind of like Marco. Marco? Let's talk to Marco. Marco? Marco. Yes. Hi. What's up, baby? <laughs> Uh, not not much, not much. I actually just uh, I just got done closing the store at my work. So hi. What's up, hey. man? How's life? Oh, not too bad. Pretty good so far. Pretty chill, you know. We're vibing here, you know. Chilling, depressed. Yeah. Why are you depressed? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm all right. Just a lot of stuff happening. Home life, but you know things are going pretty okay so far, though. Um, can we? Well, I guess I'll let you say it in your own words. What is it that you wanted to to, to talk about with us today, Marco? 
Okay, so um, I was talking to, uh, I actually want to talk about a, uh, something with one of my best friends I have done. Uh, one of my best friends, I still talk to him to this day, but he actually, uh, we actually did stuff together. You know, like, uh, you know, right now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a straight man, you know, mm. I'm a straight young man. And, uh. I have a girlfriend now, but I have a best friend that, you know, me and him did stuff together, you know. Okay. A couple times, you know, he, I know there are times whenever he would grab my crotch in, in, in the middle of the Smith store. There are times cool. whenever he would, there was a time. <laughs> cool, man. It was, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a time whenever he was, uh, uh, we were, what was it? We were, we were in a row. We were driving in his car one time and then out of nowhere uh he just starts coming the crotch again and he was like oh your balls are so full oh my god or oh you're he was like and i was just like i kind of was just like oh okay like normally i don't normally dances like that I'm skip like, whoa yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but but i i, I... <laughs> cool man yeah, you didn't want to hear the end of that story. If he really wanted to discuss that issue, he would have not described how full his balls were. He wasn't describing how full his balls were. He was describing somebody else describing how full his well, balls right. were. Well, right. No, but like were. whatever. Still, like he would have, I don't know, maybe I'm more of like a reserved person sometimes. Uh, but I think he would have maybe gone about that differently if he was being dead ass serious. Do you think he was wait? Do you like? I think he was like. Do you think, I think he, was he was playing fucking, it up, or do you think he was straight lying? I think he was fucking around, or he was getting off on like telling us this publicly. Really, you think so? Yeah, a little bit. I don't. I'm gonna respectfully disagree. I don't think he was doing that. That's fine. That's fine. But. But you do. You have. I've. I've relinquished upon you ultimate skipping power. Dude, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Something about it. Just being like, yeah. And then he grabbed my nuts, and he was like, "Fuck, your balls are so." Um, Something about that. Does anything else? Does anything else around here look? Uh, look. St- look. Look exciting yeah. to you. Uh. Yeah. Let me see. Hit. Wait. Uh, I kind of up, 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 uh, um, kind, kind of, yeah, what are you thinking? Ryan, Ryan, yeah, hit okay, that. cool. Let's talk to Ryan. Hello, hello, hi, Ryan. Hello, what's up, Ryan? What do you want to talk about today? What's up? Wow, I, I, I can't believe I'm on. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what's up? Um, I guess I, I told the screener, uh, damn, yeah, I'm really nervous right now. <laughs> no, don't be. Hold Take don't your be. time, Take man. Your time, if you dude, don't so. feel comfortable doing it, don't <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Take your time. So, oh, yeah, so I guess, um, yeah, I, I wanted to talk about, uh, like, a couple of years ago, my dad died. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but um, right. so um, and I've been like doing really well since, mm. and it's just interesting. Like I think about like a lot of people I know, or like some people I know who, when they're like one of their parents passed away, they kind of like went into like a like a dark thing <laughs> but i'm like it's happened to me like it's happened in my life now and i'm like i kind of just kind of just chilling <laughs> i don't know i just thought it was interesting okay. hmm. was it and is there anything that um you wanted to talk about regarding because i i it said that um pull that up something about your cousins or 
or oh, you picked the wrong one. Oh, one oh really? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is this is what he said. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, my my um my eyesight is kind of fucked. Uh, well, I guess I'll ask you this, um, Ryan. Why do you feel like you're chilling so hard? Why do you feel like you're feeling feeling good? There's nothing wrong with feeling good. I don't think. Do you feel Do you feel bad for feeling good? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I thought about that a little bit, like. Yeah. I've like, I guess, like I said, like I've been around some people when, and they're like, you know, like their dad passed away and like, right. he was like, uh, someone I used to know. Yeah. And yeah, it like, it like really fucked him up. <laughs> like, yeah, really but bad you feel like you're and, handling and, it you know, well. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it, I guess it's just interesting thinking about like, uh, someone else going through that and witnessing it and yeah, obviously like being there for them and you know yeah, um, yeah it's, just, it's just interesting like what's up sorry I was just I was saying like there's a lot of feelings that come with with something that um, uh, kind of that big you know so I think um, yeah you know I haven't had I, that hasn't happened to me, but I yeah I, I mean it's 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 valid and and I think you should always strive to feel better and and just push forward. I think that that's kind of yeah. I think that that's that. I think you you kind of got it. You you kind of got it down. Like I think. You know, but I think the guilt comes comes with with um, your situation, uh, typically. So, and you know, um, yeah. I mean, it's it's good that you feel good. It is good that you feel good, unless you had some sort of some sort of issue, like like it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's it's just good that you're pushing forward. Period. So there's really, yeah. You know. Yeah, like I don't know. It's it's obviously been you know I, I felt I felt sad and have thought about it. You know, since of course you know. Yeah. But like, so. you know, it's always been like when I do, when I do, it's like pretty positive. Like I'm just thinking about like, you know, I'm like late like sniper in in on the good stuff you know and i'm like yeah you know he was cool did, yeah. did you did you guys have did you guys have a you good know? relationship yeah i'd say i'd say like through it it was pretty good there was there was also like some not good stuff <laughs> but like and i think that kind of goes into like kind of how i felt since he hasn't been around to it's really interesting like you know it's like less tension, yeah. But I also, you know, I love him. I loved him, you know, to death, and you know, he was cool as fuck. I <laughs> think that it sounds like you yeah. have the tools to deal with a situation like this in a high stress in a high stress situation. Your friend may not have known how to deal with this, and not everybody knows how to deal with this when this happens. It's very, it's it's different with everyone, and I think you were just able to. You you had some some sort of um, mechanism that allowed you to push through, and you're and that's yeah. that's yeah I'd say a blessing. Yeah, I'd say I'm. I yeah I do have that. I feel like I feel like I've. I don't know, and also yeah I don't know. Just witnessing a lot of stuff. And then I'm like, okay, this might happen to me at some point. And then it does. And I'm mm. like, okay, I so feel kind of prepared, <laughs> you know, pretty prepared somehow. Mm. But like, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you're right. And, 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 you know, the person I knew that, um, where that happened and I was like, you know, pretty close to them in their life, it was, you know, we were all, we were like 20 and I'm, you know, that was 10 years ago now. Yeah, like in that area. Yeah. So I don't know. It makes sense, and I, 
you know, that is also valid too. Yeah. I guess it's just weird, like having witnessing it happening to me now, you know, or having it have happened in the past now to me. And I'm like, huh, I'm still out here kicking and I'm just moving, you know, it's just yeah. weird, but cool. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not sensing, I'm not even sensing that you do, but I don't, I don't think you should feel uh, guilty about that. Yeah. There's an un, there's an yeah. uneasiness. Yeah, it's just a weird thing it. I think about. Yeah, there's an un, uneasiness yeah. or an unsureness about it. Like, do I act this way? Do I do this? And do, should I feel this way? But I think that that bottom line, it's about it's about overcoming any sort of that kind of that kind of feeling, and and, it's, and that it's also okay to have those feelings, um, as long as they're balanced. To you know what I mean to some degree. Um, yeah. you know, when it becomes imbalanced and you feel it and, you know, you need answers, you know, ask and, and, um, that's kind of, I don't know. That's how I view it. I also think like knowing that you loved him and he probably loved you, he would love to see that you're mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing good. You know? Yeah, and that's that's the, that's the great part about it, you know. Oh yeah. <clears throat> How you yeah. feeling right now, Will? I got hit. Hell yeah, I'm feeling pre pretty good, Mister Gecko. Hell yeah. Um, what are you doing right now? Where are you? I'm just. I'm just in my apartment, just chilling. I'm just sitting on my couch. I just ate a, the remainder of some popcorn. It was this cinnamon, cinnamon bun popcorn. Hell yeah. That sounds awesome. That's about it. <laughs> Do you ever eat pop chips? Popcorners? Pop chips? Popcorners. Pop, <gasps> popcorner? Popcorn. Did you say popcorner? Yeah. The, dude. the place. Yes, dude, the, that is literally what I have right now. Yeah, that's with the cinnamon. The, and they taste like... Okay, put yeah, the, put that on vanilla ice cream. Oh my god. You're Wait, welcome. Is, it, is, this a, is, this a, is this a brand right that now. you get from a store or is this like a place that you it's, go to? No, 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 it's a brand. Popcorners. Yeah, it's like a place. Popcorners. Oh, it's different from pop chips. Do you know what oh I used to do? What you used to do? I used to take the, uh, I used to take them and crush them up, the cinnamon ones, and put them in a bowl with protein shake, the chocolate uh, Fair Life, and literally cinnamon toast crunch, but like the health vibe, the health version. That fucking rocks. Of dude. It. Oh my yeah, God. it's amazing. Okay, That's I gotta like try that. Dimension. You can't stop though. That's the problem. Pop I gotta try corner. That. Popcorn. <laughs> Holy shit. Put yeah, that. Put that bitch in in a bowl That's with amazing. some with some. Uh, with some protein shake, but it has to be uh, chocolate. I mean, I it could be. You could try vanilla if you're feeling. I don't know. I don't trust that. Crazy. I don't trust that. I have I have cook I have cookies and cream ice cream in my freezer right now. Hit Whoa. that. What kind Hit. of <laughs> what kind of what kind of cookies and cream ice cream is it? Was it Ben and Jerry's? Uh, I think it's just like, uh, you know, like Kroger, Kroger brand. Hell yeah. Don't, you know, <laughs> the good, the good cheap kind, you know? Nice. That's, that's crazy. You literally pinpointed the fucking popcorn I was eating. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, because it, that's like the only cinnamon popcorn that's worth it. I, I don't know why in my head I thought you had, yeah, it had, had like one of those, the little like, white you know those buckets, like the icing. Oh. I thought you had the like bu a bucket. Oh. I thought you had a bucket with like cheddar, caramel, cinnamon. Yeah, no. There's... I've gotten one of the. This is like a bag. It's in like a bag. There's some snacks that I want to put you onto. I don't know the name of them. What? How would you describe? Can you describe? They're them tiny right? little, little like patty, circular, like rice crackers. Uh, rice, uh, Quaker, o Quaker oats, 
fucking rice cake uh, Quaker, cinnamon Quaker. shit. Wait, no. Right? It's it's birthday cake flavored. What? Birthday cake. Like funfetti flavored. Like drizzled over oh, with shit. like little rainbow oh, sprinkles shit. on top of a rice cake. This sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I need to go to the fucking grocery store and get me some snack. Dude. Best vibe. Damn. You know what? Best snack. I'm i I'm feeling like everything's gonna be alright. Yeah, me too. You? I think so too. Hell yeah. I think Will, so. is there is there anything else you wanna say to the people of the computer before we go? Doja Gek? Gek, and I love you. I love you both. This is crazy. I'm talking to y'all. Everybody, I love you. I love you. Peace Hell and yeah. love. Take care, buddy. Bada 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 bing bada boom. Bada bing bada bye. boom. Bye, Ryan. Bada bada boom bada bing. See ya. See ya. Bye. How you doing? Good. This is so relaxing. <laughs> Probably because I've had a half of a fucking a 40. No, I haven't even had half of the 40, honestly. I said that earlier and I did not. I was like not even close to that. Um, Doja Cat, thank you very, very, very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. This Thanks is very for being cool. A gecko. Uh, I, sincerely, I really appreciate you coming on. Um, is there anything that you would like to a plug or talk about career uh, wise, and then b just say in general and final parting thoughts, feeling sentiments? Yeah. Uh, if anyone out there feels like they're struggling with with figuring out maybe who they are or with their creativity in some form just fucking just do whatever you want and stop listening to other people unless you really trust their opinion and like I mean really 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 trust their opinion and you know that they're dope uh, other than that, yeah, love yourself and that's it. Oh, what else do I have? Oh, I have my European leg of my tour coming up. Uh, Where are you going? I'm going to be going to all the peons. Uh, just a lot of peons. There's just a lot of places. You going to London? Going to London. You going to Ireland. I'm not going to Germany, unfortunately. I am not going to Ireland. Oh, am I going to Ireland? I don't know. I don't know a lot of things off the top of my head when it comes to like, you know, mm -hmm. the plan of, yeah, things changed around actually too. I think um, I'm touring with uh, Hemlock Springs, and uh, she's fantastic. She's an amazing talent. Um, and uh what else that's kind of it oh i have a oh i have a thing coming out i have also a deluxe uh scarlet Ooh, Scar what's, what's in the deluxe scarlet it's called it's s2 uh claude frollo is the name of the the deluxe but it's it's just a like a eight song seven song something like that roughly Okay, I'm gonna. This might sound stupid. Is Claude Frollo the guy from the yes. Back of Notre Dame? Yeah. Why did you name it after Claude Frollo? Um, because he is like a, is he a tyrant? He's just like a, he's like a. I feel like it connects to the story of Scarlet to some, in some way, and if you look up his personality traits and like who he is and his story you'll understand kind of the whole th the whole connection there's like a control aspect like he just abuses his 
power and his control and is just like dogmatic and like is just a total cunt and all Esmeralda wanted to do was just be creative and sing and dance but nasty old, old Claude Frollo is just having a field day on her and just being awful and a bad guy and a stinky man and this isn't about anyone in like there's not anything very personal happening to me with one person Claude Frollo doesn't depict a single person in my life it's like a it's like a metaphor for the people that creatives endure on a kind of a yeah mm -hmm. on like a daily basis and like a bigger picture a bigger scale um and that's kind of what that is it's it, it if okay. you just read up on him it's kind of it makes sense with the other stuff that i was doing on the other album the music isn't as uh angry on this one though check out that song hell fire you know the one he goes fire hell fire yes yeah oh my that's god crazy one. yeah that's a great song um, oh, you're also headlining Coachella soon. Um, I am. I'm. I'm headlining Coach. Oh, I think we're good. I thought the fire alarm was. Yeah, going. you you uh, summoned a fire by singing that. I did. You did. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, I have Coachella. I'm headlining Coachella, and that's gonna be fun times. Get your booties down there. Let's do some dancing, and uh, yeah, you'll enjoy it. I think. I hope. Doja Cat, you're a legend. You're the voice of a generation. I'm a big fan. Thank you. And I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Therapy cat goes on the